He's become the butt of many of their jokes, especially over his Vietnam War record. Upon being slapped at birth, Kerry applied for and was awarded the first of his 27 Purple Hearts. But this week, John Kerry became the latest politician to appear on America's top satirical show. We've angered everybody in the Sir, world. Sir, I'm sorry. We, uh... Were you or were you not in Cambodia <laughs> on Christmas Eve? They said, you said five oh, miles, they really said nice. three. <laughs> Bill Clinton was a guest last month, another sign of how The Daily Show has become part of the establishment. And its comedians were accredited as official journalists at the Democratic Party convention, providing the sort of coverage you won't have seen anywhere else. He's won the primary, he's coalesced the Democratic Party. I'm sorry, am I boring you? There's John Kerry giving his acceptance speech. I have to say, I really expected a bigger turnout than this. <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like John Edwards used up all the love last night. The presenter, John Stewart, has often criticized American reporters who failed to ask the president tough questions, like their European counterparts. There was the woman on Irish television who was asking apparently real questions and expecting answers. We're not accustomed to that. We prefer pre-scripted questions and no follow-ups. It's a new thing we've been working on called leaving the president alone giving him quiet time, helps him make decisions. Politicians are willing to appear and be lampooned for one very good reason. Its audience includes young voters who ignore regular news shows. You know, a lot of people that are in your audience, the 18 to 32 independent voters. You know, is... I'm getting the sense that you're here for selfish reasons. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. The war in Iraq, or Mesopotamia, as he calls it, does not escape attention. And with President Bush such an easy target to lampoon, you might think Stewart would like to see him re-elected. You believe that I would rather see the world go up in flames so that I have more to make jokes about. You're a comedian, it's than, your job. Uh, I see, I see. I didn't know that we appeared that soulless. <laughs> he became a U.S. senator instead of wandering around in an alcoholic haze until he was 40. Elections have come a long way since Americans first voted. George Washington had syphilis and wooden teeth. I don't think that's going to play in the heartland. <laughs> Whoever wins in November, rest assured that The Daily Show will have the last laugh. In Woods, Sky News, Washington.